Hey guys, what's up? My name is Lauren Danielle. If this is the first time you're seeing my face, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming my 20 week update for you guys and that is absolutely freaking insane that I am here filming this already for you guys. I feel like this pregnancy is flying by and uh, it's kind of like sends me into like panic mode knowing how fast it's flown by and knowing that I'm already more than halfway there and I usually don't go for full term so I'm sure I'm not going to go for full, full term this time and that makes me even more crazy and just blah, 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 to think that I'm about to have two kids just in my presence and it's crazy I'm still not adjusted to it I don't think I'll be like used to it until the baby is right here in my hands and yeah it's just crazy the fact that I'm going to be 22 and having two kids I don't know like I'm still trying to get used to the thought in my head um, but yes, without further ado, let's get on to my handy dandy notebook on my phone because you know pregnancy brain, I can't ever remember anything. It's actually getting pretty bad. Like, um, there's some things that I've been doing lately, like at work and stuff, and I just literally cannot be thinking. Like, it's just, I, my brain, half of it must not work or something. I don't know the scientific reason behind pregnancy brain but it has to be something scientific because my brain does not work half of the time but so I had to write down all my updates I got quite a few um this time around I think the last time I did an update was my first trimester the end of my first trimester so at 14 weeks so it's been about five weeks since we've been here I don't think I'll ever I think just doing them every week is too repetitive and like not enough symptoms change but when we go like every month or every five weeks or whatever I'll probably do it again at 25 weeks um there's more to update you guys on so if you would like to see every week like weekly videos or maybe bi-weekly bi -weekly videos I guess comment down below and I can see about that but for the most part I think I'm going to keep continuing to do it every five weeks unless like whenever I get super far along like things are starting to change more frequently because I know in the third trimester it's pretty um a lot of things can happen second trimester is just kind of like easy trucking it but the first thing on my list is something that I have been experiencing since the day I found out I was pregnant. I don't know if it's a mind thing or what, but I cannot wait to the day I can brush my teeth again without gagging. Like, it is so bad. It's the mixture of, like, the toothpaste and, like, just, ugh, I can't do it. I cannot brush my teeth without gagging. And that's been a symptom since I got pregnant. And I just wrote it down because I was really just aggravated one day because I keep throwing up like every time I brush my teeth and it's it's just aggravating because you throw up and then you gotta brush your teeth again and then you gotta fight again it's just so aggravating so I that wrote that one down the second one is I have been getting weak and like dizzy spells like weak spells and dizzy spells um I went to my my last two midwives appointments said my blood blood pressure blood pressure was a little low and they said it wasn't like dangerously low. It wasn't something that I needed to like keep a watch on. It's nothing like wrong with the baby or me. It's just my blood blood pressure just kind of runs low. And with that and you being pregnant, I just get weak a lot. I get really dizzy spells, especially when I'm at work and just kind of like going nonstop. I have to take a break, go to the soda closet, and, like drink some water and sit down and like kind of recuperate for a second. So I'm glad I go to work and I'm able to do that um but hopefully I won't be working much longer because your girl cannot do it anymore um I'm getting to the point where I'm it's just too much to be running back and forth trying to take care of tables and like taking a break but um yeah the second thing these kind of go hand in hand these go along with my diet and these are dark greens and dates. And I kind of touched on this if you watch my birthing center, why I chose to go the birthing center route. Um, my midwife is very for nutrition. And one of the things that she recommended that I eat is dark greens like broccoli and um, spinach and bok chow. I think that's how you say it. And eating a lot of dates. And the dates, I can say I have not ate one single date since I was pregnant and I think it's because my grandma she used to eat those all the time and 
I tasted it when I was a little kid and I thought it was absolutely disgusting so I just can't I can't do it I'm sorry but I have been going out of my way and eating lots of spinach and broccoli at least once a day I'm supposed to eat it two or uh, three times a day but I'm doing it at least once a day so that's a big step up um, for me and the last time I updated you guys I said that I haven't broke out any which is a big like difference from Blakeland's pregnancy I spoke way too soon I didn't knock on wood because I have been breaking out so bad it actually just cleared up like in the past couple days around my mouth and like just it was so bad like I don't know I couldn't I was I tried everything I tried the lush thing I tried actually like my old prescription it wasn't like out expired old but my old prescription gel I tried everything to get these acne bumps under control and it finally just kind of went away on its own after I stopped messing with it but it was so bad so I definitely spoke too soon um, I don't know if my hormones were just going something through something that was like three weeks but pimples were crazy and usually you get them like in the first trimester and the second trimester so it was just weird for me to like randomly get them the next thing I have on my list is heartburn I have been having such bad heartburn and I remember having this with Blakelyn and I don't know like is it true that is it just an old wise tale that whenever you have heartburn that means they has a lot of hair Blakelyn had lots of thick dark hair when she was born but oh my god it is so bad especially it's only after I eat and then like when I'm laying in bed and it's the most annoying thing ever I hate Tums so I haven't like had to go that route of getting Tums yet but ugh, your girl might need to if it continues because it is so stinking bad this heartburn um, the next thing I have experienced I experienced this one time and I'm not sure I think it was um, just because I was kind of walking a lot we were in I don't know if I can I can't really even necessarily say that because I serve tables and like that's walking a lot but I don't know me and Mason were just in the city in New Orleans and we went out to eat and we had to like park far away from the restaurant and we were walking and I started experiencing some Braxton Hicks contractions and I was a little like frightened because that's when I was closer to like 16 17 weeks and I was like my late 20 weeks when I experienced it with Blakeland so it was freaking me out I called my doctor and she said that that's normal that that's just my body preparing for labor um, I haven't experienced it since that time um, but Braxton Hicks were definitely a symptoms for that day I'm pretty sure it's like gonna ease and like start doing it more and more I'm not ready for it yet I'm really not but we're just gonna kind of go with the flow I know it's like natural and your body is like trying to prepare itself for labor and everything but that was one of my um, symptoms this update and it was a little bit scary just because I never had heard of anybody having them that early but once I talked to my midwife and she assured me that it was just completely normal that it's not a sign of labor or anything that um, she kind of really just comfort me, comforted me Okay, my last one, my last, I have three more, my last, my next one, why well, I keep saying my last one? My next one is TMI for you guys, maybe some of you, but it is leaky boobs. My boobs have started leaking already, and I think last time I was like 34 weeks when they started doing this. No girl, my body knows what it's doing. It's in full baby mode. It's in full like growing bot human mode and it's happening already and it's so annoying. So gross. I hate it. I don't understand why I'm only 20 weeks and my boobs are already starting to leak and like produce stuff. I guess it's good that my body is like kicked the nose that it's doing but it's just like slow down. We got 19 more weeks to deal with this. Chill out. But my body has other priorities apparently the next one is I am finally having I cannot fit in my shorts I cannot fit in any of my pants I am finally in maternity clothes so my body is definitely starting to get bigger um yeah I'll show you a bump shot like after it's really not that big I still like barely have a bump everybody always tells me how small I am and 
I don't know. I guess I'm just a small person and I have small baby bumps. That was a rant about me feeling sorry for myself for having a small bump. First world problems with Lauren. The next, the last thing is progesterone shots. So I touched about this a little bit in my birthing center, why I chose the birthing center. I'll go ahead and link that video down below. Um, but I am going to have to, or I did have to start taking progesterone shots. And if you don't know what that is, progesterone is just a natural pregnancy hormone that your body produces. And I was, Blakelyn was five weeks and some change early. So she was premature. Nothing was wrong with her physically. But I did have a premature baby and that there can be health risk involved. Even though Blakeman was perfectly fine, there is there can be health risk risks involved. And my midwife got to looking over my previous chart and like my pregnancy with Blakelin. If you ever had a steroid shot, that is exactly what progesterone shot feels like. It hurts. I can't really sit on it for like 25 minutes. But that's what that is. I have to do that weekly until I am 36 weeks. And I started that this week coming up. We do it every Saturday. will be my third week. So I'm getting used to it as the time and time goes on. So I'm pretty sure it's just going to be nothing to me eventually. But that is something that I have been doing. And my midwife is very hopeful that it will at least prevent me from going into labor until I'm 37 weeks. And we have a winner. Love you.